Good evening. This evening, before we get into our regular meeting and before we get into the public hearing, let me do a little housekeeping and apprise you of something that's been transpiring since we had our last meeting last, last Monday on <coughs> August the 8th. This relates to the plan that we had from last meeting to have a study session this evening regarding the Think 2020, Think 2040, Think Telehoma 2040 plan. And we, in order to, we want to get a public hearing with as many people as we could for that. So let me read to you what we're planning to do with getting as many people to get input into that plan as we can. This is a news release that's uh, currently out. It's on our website. If you want to refer to it in detail, it'll be in the newspaper. At the uh, relates to the city officials update on the community plan of the Tullahoma 2040 plan. So the city of Tullahoma is pleased to announce that the public will have an extended opportunity to review the Think Tullahoma 2040 plan and provide feedback on the draft documents. City officials will be hosting an open house. These events will be at the Planning and Codes office on 321 North Collins Street to hear from residents and answer questions. All members of the public are welcome and a format will be a come and go as you at your convenience with discussions one or on one or in small groups. So the Think Telehoma 2040 plan open house events are scheduled for the following dates. These dates are <clears throat> from Friday, October the 19th and Friday, October the 26th. These will be from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Then on Saturdays, August the 20th and Saturday, the August 27th, from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. So those will be on Friday afternoons and on Saturday mornings. So the Telehoma Regional Planning Commission and the Board of Mayor and Alderman are currently planning to hold a special call meeting where they can meet together as a joint workshop for discussion of the draft documents with consultants from the Walker Collaborative. So tentative the board has hoped to have a study session on August the 8th. However, due, that's today, but however, due to prior commitments, the, board, the project planners, the consultants were not available. So as soon as a date is available to be scheduled, the city will advertise in the Telehoma News at least seven days in advance for the meeting date and time. So for more, for more information on this plan, you can go to our Telehoma website, the city website, and click on the 2040 plan. So that's the update on, on that status. So tonight we'll move into our... Mayor. <coughs> in oh. Just a moment. So for that, we'll move into our public hearing. And if we... There was a date correction in there. Yeah. I think you said October 19th and 20th. It's August 19th and 20th. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. I just wanted to make sure people had the right dates. Well, if I said October, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit out, out of date. So that is, the, the dates are Friday. Thank you, Ms. Alderman Blackwell. The dates are Friday, August the 19th, and Friday, August the 26th, in the afternoon, 1 to 4. And then on Saturdays, August 20th, and August 27th, those are Saturdays, from 10 to 2. Good. So those are the dates, thank you. So with that, we'll move right on into our uh, open, open public hearing. So is there anyone here tonight who would like to speak on public hearing on ordinance number 1579, which is an, entitled an ordinance for the city of Tallahoma, Tennessee for the ordinance, amend the ordinance number 1540, adopting the annual budget for a tax rate for the fiscal year beginning July the 1st, 2021, and ending June 30th, 2022. Anyone care to speak on that agenda item? Here now, I'm going to close the public hearing and go right into our regular board meeting. Call to order. Yes. Mayor Noes. <coughs> Mayor Pro Tem Blanks. Here. Alderperson Amacher. Here. Barry. Here. Blackwell. Here. Dunn. Here. McGee. Here. Seven present. With that, we have a quorum, and I'd like this time to invite Reverend 
Tim McGeehee, do the invocation and lead us in the Pledge of the Flag. Please stand. Y'all join me, if you will, as we pray. Lord, may we never forget that we are nothing without you. And we yield and submit to you, and we realize that you are sovereign, and we are not. And we realize that you know all, and you see all, and that you are in charge, and uh, only what hap is happening is allowed to be happening by you. Uh, because you are God and uh, you are holy and you are loving and you are just and so we we trust you Lord with all the things that are going around uh, in our world and all the division and all of the the terrible things may we continue to get our strength and comfort from you and may uh, we be reminded that even though it looks like Satan is winning the battle, that you are ultimately going to win the war. Give these leaders of our city direction and give them wisdom. We pray, Lord, for our city and its inhabitants, and uh, we pray that uh, for our country that we would honor you and continue to put you first. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Reverend McGee. At this time, we have a very special proclamation that uh, I'd like to make. And at this time, I'd like to ask Mayor Pro Tem, Alden Blanks, if you would, to join me in front of the desk for a little proclamation. <coughs> you step down on that level. <laughs> Okay. Now this is an extremely sad occasion, but a happy occasion. And to present to James H. Blanks in recognition for your dedicated service for Mayor Pro Tem 2019 to 2022. And all of them from 2009 to 2019. All I can say is that's a long time. Mayor Pro Tem Blanks. Congratulations on your service. Thank you for your service to our city. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate and it. And the podium is yours. Now let's get a quick picture for that. We can do that. Colleagues, <clears throat> citizens of Tullahoma, staff, I stand before you tonight a happy man. <clears throat> I started serving on this board 13 years ago. 14 years ago, I ran for alderman and was beat by Coach Mathis by 151 votes. Mike Stanton was led the pack. During that time, I've served with many distinguished alder people. Greg Sandlin, James Eads, Mike Stanton, Coach Mathis, Mike Norris, Troy Bisme was my first mayor. Nancy Eads replaced Jim when uh, James Eads when he passed. Sandy Lindeman, Renee Keene, Jackie Duncan, Ray Nois, Robin Dunn, Rupa Blackwell, Cernobia McGee. Daniel Berry and Jenna Amaker. It's been a pleasure to serve with all these people over the years. I think we've had ups and downs. I think we've made a lot of progress in this town. Um, there are some things that got done, and it was just not me. It was these people that I've, I've spoken about. 
I think I even forgot to put um, Lane Curley's name in there. Which was, <laughs> Lane, I'm sorry. <laughs> Served under Administrator Jody Baltz and also served with Jennifer Moody as Administrator. We couldn't get these things done without these people. I have a city recorder, Rosemary, thank you for, you know, keeping us in line over the years, making sure the voting machines were done properly. But like I said, there's there's a lot of people that I've served with um, and it was a pleasure. Um, I will miss this a little bit. Um, and I would like to thank my wife and my son for allowing me to stay um, away from home. I mean, to sit up here, and I'm speaking to you guys mostly, you know what it's like to serve. You have a heart to serve, and it is not easy. You will get ridicule. You will get adulation but the ridicule cuts sometimes. But we have to have thick skin because we want to serve the people of Tullahoma. So that's what I always would keep in mind um, when you would get hecklers or people dogging you. Um, like I told Coach Carden one time, he was standing right here giving us the devil. <laughs> I said, you know, if, if we're doing such a bad job, why don't you run? Go get your little petition and get your 25 name. He said, well, I voted for you. I said, I appreciate that. I said, why don't you run? He said, no, no, I don't want to do that. And then he started laughing. So, you know, it's real easy to sit out here. But it's harder to sit up there. But we have to have people that are run, you know, and people that will have a little bit of thick skin and have the, the people of Tullahoma's um, – you know, the people of Tullahoma who, are you, who you represent. So keep that in mind. We'll have um, some new people on the board here in, in a couple of weeks. So, you know, my word of advice is think before you speak. And it's a lot easier to sit back here, an armchair alderman or mayor or pro tem or whatever, than it is to sit up there and, and try to help lead the city. So. You know, sometimes it's it's um, easier to be an armchair alderman than to be an actual alderman. But I appreciate my time with the board that's up here right now. Y'all been a pleasure. There's been ups and downs, but we've suffered through it. We lived through COVID. We lived through that mess. You know, we were doing stuff online. It was nuts. Uh, and here we are. We survived it, you know, and we've made progress. So I appreciate the time, Mayor. And the citizens of Tullahoma, thanks for letting me serve you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Blanks. You will be missed. <clears throat> This time we'll move into the approval of the agenda that has been presented to each of you. If there are no objections to the agenda as presented, we will adopt that agenda. Alden Barry. Mayor, I'd like to <clears throat> add an item to the agenda to reconsider the postponement, the vote on the postponement of the 2040 plan. If I get a second, I can tell you why. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, so the board is unable to make amendments to the plan itself. We can either up or down what the planning commission has given us. Um, and what we have talked about is we know that we have amendments that are going to need to be made. So the whatever plan this vote this board is going to vote on knowing that there's going to be amendments you know that doesn't do us much good to keep it held up here when we can put it back on we can vote it down we can kick it back to the planning commission where it needs to be and not have any delays there because if we send anything here we vote it down it's got to go back there for 30 days at least if i'm 
recall correctly for public hearing before it can come back to a vote there to, for them to do the amendment process so it just doesn't make much sense for it to be sitting here on our table when there's nothing we can do with it if we vote it down it automatically goes back to them correct automatically goes back to them that just save us a meeting correct that'll save meeting in probably 30 40 60 days on the back end well the point now is to the point now is to get a second to put this on the agenda you already yeah, got, it. Yeah. You got a second from Alderman Dunn okay with that is there any further discussion on putting this on the agenda tonight so would we still be able to then hold the open houses on the same days so essentially this just moves the process in uh, slight yeah and so then we can also then the planning commission will be able to take the information faster to do what the people want faster is that what we're i'm understanding yeah, we can't correct. do anything with it okay I, now the, i remember we we're talking about the motion in a second to get this agenda item on on the okay. agenda I do not approve of putting this agenda item back on the agenda. Uh, the Planning Commission, obviously, we will have to kick it back at some point. However, um, I also disagree that we cannot make amendments to it. I understand it is the plan as a whole. This board is the one who approved the funding for that plan, and the plan is not just about zoning and planning. It is a comprehensive plan, which involves all things regarding Tullahoma, things that ultimately um, we may have to decide on further down the road as well. We ought to be able to make amendments, and I will not approve any plan from any subsidiary board that we cannot amend. So I, I, I was never aware that we could never amend this plan, and I think that that is it a growth plan is it a comprehensive plan there's all kinds of questions that we have about this plan that need to be answered before we consider it at this table any further question um, now is to put this on the exactly. agenda exactly i question? disapprove of putting it back on the agenda because of the we questions have a motion at large. and a second to put this on as an agenda item tonight to reconsider which would move it back to the planning commission is there any further discussion on putting this on the agenda Oh, yes to move it to the agenda redford no we will put that on the agenda item is under new business to reconsider the comp <coughs> okay next on the item on the agenda tonight as now amended let's vote to approve the agenda as amended. Vote green for approval and red for no. And that passes six to zero. One. Six to one, excuse me. Okay, the uh, next on the agenda for tonight with the, uh, as it is approved, is the comments from citizens. And for the comments from citizens, is there anyone in the audience who would like to address the board tonight under the comments from citizens? I think you have, I think you have a piece of paper. I have. Um, Just a moment. I've got to come to the podium and state your name and address. And uh, uh, Maureen Burke, address is 107 Breckenridge Road. Okay, so so uh, first of all i'm very distressed to hear that you just want to put that in on the agenda tonight without the public's consent this is a a very contested issue right now um we really appreciated your um initiative to provide some time for the public to be heard because we have done a lot of research we have a lot of people who have a lot of knowledge about uh, about planned units and development and zoning and all that kind of thing and um, so it's very distressing to hear this um, before that motion was made however I had a question a couple questions and I, I don't really understand what the four meetings are about so I would like an explanation as to why those four meetings have replaced the town hall that was uh, approved as a, an agenda item last time Those meetings are designed for public input to this plan. That's the, that's, the, that's the purpose of the town hall meeting, 
is to get as much public input as we can and those gives you four opportunities to do that and we certainly appreciate your input is that a town hall that that is the substance of a town hall meeting so why would there be four instead of having the entire audience together to hear it the, the board asked our staff to put together a plan to hear from the public this is the plan that we have put together is it this board that decided that after the meeting last time the board asked our city staff to put together a plan to hear as many people as we could and that's the plan that the staff put together so who will be answering the questions at these four meetings we will have if we will desire to have the planning commissioner there this president chairman of the planning commission there along with the uh, city planning director also the city uh, city administrators should be at that meeting as well I plan to attend as many of them as I can myself and the Planning Commission the Planning Commission as a body will not be there no okay and uh, what what is the agenda item tonight that you just approved to vote on the plan adopting the plan is that it or what was the essence of that we reconsidered a motion that was made last time it was passed to postpone action on this plan until we had had a study session with the collaborative group we have not been able to get the collaborative group here tonight for that we hope to have them available for these town halls so there will not be a study session there will not be a study session tonight no prior to the four meetings the study sessions will be after these meetings that we've had with would that be open to the public i beg your pardon would that be open to the public that study session oh yes okay of course okay all right um thank you for your time appreciate you working well, thank with you us. and we hope we will continue to participate in this process thank you anyone else hello my name is linda johnson i live at 703 davis street and i do not believe well i believe that's a violation of robert's rule of order to just add things to your agenda that haven't been advertised in the newspaper i don't know where your parliamentarian is but i do not feel like that is proper to just add something to the agenda that hasn't been advertised in the paper for the citizens that's the only comment that i have anyone else Good evening mayor board i'm jim woodard at uh, 2011 north jackson street and i just really wanted to step up and say thank you to dr jimmy blanks because he is stepping down and uh, as an alderman for our city as vice mayor uh, i had the pleasure of working with his mama many years ago in, in our business so my history goes back with uh, jimmy a long time ago birth of his son and of his family and as being a past alder person for two terms and six years, I do know that the uh, sitting in those chairs can be a little bit uh, challenging at times, but also very rewarding. And so, Jimmy, I just again, want to say you've given us, I think it was 18 years altogether? 13. 13. Oh, I was going to give you more. Sometimes I felt like 18. I thought, yeah, I thought I read 18. Okay, so 13 years is still a pretty darn long time you know to serve on the board and to give your time because you are a professional you do work in your business and you've taken a lot of time to give to this city so for maybe i'm speaking for many of the citizens of Tullahoma, but we do appreciate your service your dedication the things you've given up for your family you know to, to be at board meetings and committee meetings but i just want to say thank you for your hard work for your service and also to all of the board for the time that you're giving uh, to, to the city of Tullahoma. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Anyone else? Robert? No, go ahead. Mr. Mayor, Board of Aldermen, Clint Wolf, 811 12 Oaks Road. Hmm. I came here tonight in the spirit of collaboration but I'm a little concerned um, 
First of all, I'm concerned. I, I was concerned in, about the town hall being taken off the agenda, but perhaps that'll be okay with four sessions where the public can arrive and ask questions. The key is to ask the right questions. I'm very concerned, though, about re the spirit of the, um, of the agenda item change that has just been put forward. And I get the game. I understand the game that's being played. It's disingenuous, guys. Disingenuous. We came out of the meeting two weeks ago with a postponement. We came out of the meeting two weeks ago with the expectation of a town hall. What I've heard is both of those situations are now at risk. I know that there are powers that be that want things done a certain way. I understand that. I live in the real world. But I think being disingenuous. Mayor, point of order. Just, just let's, let's, no, let let's let Mr. I'm almost let finished. Mr. Wolf have I'm, almost, say. I'm almost finished. I, I think that there is peril in being disingenuous. There are many, many people in this town that have a lot of questions. And look, your jobs are not easy. I get that. In fact, thank you for doing the jobs you do. But, this, but the, the spirit that's going on here, I'm concerned about it. I'm very concerned about it. Why are you reintroducing an, age introducing an agenda item on a topic that has already been decided two weeks ago and that's all I have to say thank you very much Mr. Wolf yes this is not a game let me assure you this is not a game and there's no disingenuousness about it we have planned to have every citizen give them an opportunity to get every input into this plan as can possibly be made and for you to suggest this is a game is, I'm disappointed. Thank you for your input. May I respond? I meant no disrespect. I, I meant to highlight the fact that from two weeks ago to today, you've decided to change things. That may well be within your purview but it's not in the spirit of collaboration and I am respectful for all of you I really am it's a hard job and I respect the jobs that you do your elected officials but my general feeling about the reintroduction of the postponement issue is that it is not in the spirit of what occurred two weeks ago respectfully let me further comment to let you know that it is certainly appropriate to have a motion reconsidered Actually, within the next meeting of our board that's tonight that was properly made and to have a motion reconsidered it has to be approved by two-thirds majority of our board to reconsider that was done in proper order you notice I haven't questioned the order I, I'm was, not questioning the order. It was questioned. It was questioned by another. I'm sorry. integrity. First of all, you guys are all violating the rules right now. We're not supposed to comment. His point of order. His three minutes is up. Well, thank you, Mr. Wolf. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, my name's Robert Barnes. I live at 102 Blantwood Drive, and I didn't come up here to comment. I come up here to sit and listen because the agenda item y'all just approved wasn't even supposed to be on here tonight. So I just come to listen. And my understanding was you're gonna have the town hall. But somebody explained to me, you just voted, put this on the agenda. If it passes the 2040 plan, y'all gonna vote on it, is that right? Yes or no, somebody tell me. Are y'all gonna vote on that tonight? It's on the agenda item, sir. Okay, then if it passes, then you're gonna ask for our input. Is that right? If it passes tonight, then you're going to have your town halls and ask for our input. 
Is, is that correct? Before you do it, you're not going to ask for our input. You're going to do it, then ask for our input. Is that correct or not? Somebody explain that to me. Yes, sir. We're, we, we're not. In fact, we shouldn't even be engaging you in conversation. But <laughs> well, you asked for comment. I got a comment. I just need an answer. I just want an answer. You're going to vote on it. If it passes, before you was going to let us comment before it passed, or you voted on it. Now you're going to vote on it. Then give us four t four things, four meetings to give comment on something you've already passed or not passed. Is that correct? That's that's exactly correct, sir. Okay, so that just kind of seems defeat the whole purpose. We haven't had a vote yet. <laughs> well, I think everybody can tell how it's going to go. I don't think so. Well, I th I okay, think, we'll see. I think the three minutes are up. Thank you for your input. Hi, good evening. Bobby Wilson, um, 408 Alamar Drive. I'm just really concerned because a couple weeks ago we there were so many people here and, and I've heard so many people that are just really passionate about the subject. I know that y'all have worked really hard on this plan, I really do. And I appreciate the work that you've worked done to compose this plan, but not more than two weeks ago there was a motion that was before the board and it was unanimously passed that there was going to be a study session for for all of you the aldermen to, to understand what was in the plan because it wasn't properly introduced to you guys from the walker collaborative so that then we could have a town hall type meeting there's supposed to be a study session and then a ta town hall type meeting I think that, you know, the introduction of the four separate meetings that people can come and go as they please, I mean, that's great. But I really was very proud of the fact that you were going to have a town hall type meeting because that enables everyone that has questions and, and those, those answers to that questions to be in a public forum that's recorded on record and so that everybody can learn from that. You know, so like this, the, the style that you're doing, this open house where people are coming and going, I feel like, you know, each person may have their own question and, and get their own answers and no one else gets to benefit from that. I thought that this was a learning experience. I, I thought that this was a way for us to kind of come together and understand exactly what's in the plan. And it seems to me to make more sense to have it in an open forum that's on the record with, with everybody involved is right there available to talk. The planning commission, the aldermen, um, you know, if, if possible, the Walker Collaborative. I mean, I just, you know, this wasn't on the agenda this tonight. I really came in here. This is uh, upsetting that this is put in last minute. I, that's not what I read on the agenda. I mean, I, I don't understand how that can happen. Thank you. Anyone else? Greg Gressel, 316 Oak Park Drive. Um, I think I heard something more um, tonight that I don't think that we've we've said out loud and I know that you really can't respond to it. Uh, I want to believe that all of us are on the same side and that side being the side of Tullahoma. And if that's the case, I, I, I think what you're trying to do by having a vote on this tonight, I, I can't imagine any of you passing this i believe that everybody here thinks there's a few things that need to be done and so i can't imagine that you're going to pass this and that all this will do is speed up the process with our planning planning and codes sending it back to them and allowing them to to 
begin that process and then be a part of the process of the scattered town hall and um, and be all, all, all on the same page at that point because I believe that we're trying to do something here for Tullahoma and not just a certain portion um, of the city. I hope that that's the case. I believe that's what I heard and I hope to be encouraged by your vote that is going to happen no matter what tonight. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Grasp. Anyone else? Anyone else? City administrators recognize. Okay. If there are no other comments, I'd, if it would please the board, I know that our typical process would be when an item is added to the agenda, it moves to the end. But perhaps while we have citizens in the audience, I would hate for any of them to leave before you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to have dialogue. You could have consider a motion to move this to the front of the agenda. <clears throat> With that, we'd be glad to move that to the. Uh, for the first portion of the new for the new make items. A motion to move make a motion I'll make a motion it. make a motion is made to move that agenda item to the top of the item for new list new new motion and a second new it. business second second all in like all in favor of moving that making that change we'll green for yes and red for no that should accommodate some of our some in the audience <clears throat> okay any anyone else yes. Mr. Mayor, I have one comment, please. Yes, yes, I'm um, the uh, This just goes back to parliamentary procedure, and um, I may need some help from our uh, sitting city attorney over there. Um, I'm not sure that it's proper for us to add this to the agenda or legal. This is a question of legality, considering the motion that was made at the last meeting was a motion to postpone when and after x y and z happen that x y and z was the town hall and our study sessions even though i understand that the goal is oh everybody vote no so we can kick this down to the planning commission that you sit on i, I get that that's your intent but here's the deal we cannot bring this back to the table when x y and z haven't happened that is against sunshine it is against board policy and it is against the law you cannot add this back to the agenda it can be added by reconsidered. We have reconsidered the original motion, and that was what we did. You would have to rescind. You'd have to do a that's motion what, to rescind. That's what that is. It's it can be reconsidered. reconsidered. Okay, a motion to re And I thought that's the reason I was looking. I guess we left that out of the policies and procedures. We can do motions to reconsider now. Robert's rules. It's in Robert's rules. rules. Yes, but it was it was one of the things we considered in our policies and procedures. So you're going to reconsider taking away. And just kicking it right back down before we do the other things. Point of order. I think the question was though for Mr. Miller, right? Is that what you were want, wanting him? Well, Giffen. it's is Mr. That, Giffen. Mr. Giffen. I'm sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Mr. Giffen. Do you want to? Is that who we want? Yes. To clarify? Can we make a motion to reconsider after before those things have happened <laughs> when it wasn't on the agenda? I think you can. I think what happened was appropriate. But I wasn't here last week, so I don't know exactly how that went down. So you'll have to forgive me on that. And, but. I can clarify. I'm, I made the motion last week. Um, my motion, if I and I want to make sure that because it matters what my motion was. My motion was for us to have a study session to postpone to have a study session this meeting, and that I asked for at that study session for our staff to come back with a recommendation of how we can engage with our community, whether it would be a town hall or something similar, so that they would be able to engage with us. Um, and that that was what my motion was was for them to come up with a proposal at the study session so my my contention is we can't reconsider the 2040 plan until those things happen because that's what we voted on my motion was to reconsider that my vote on her postponement okay it's scheduled though. can you do a motion to reconsider on a motion to postpone from a previous meeting I don't think that pretty much anything yeah. if it's voted on so I, I don't see anything problem a problem with that I don't see a problem with what the board has done tonight sitting here okay we do have that motion and the motion now is to move that item to the first portion of the new business and we already voted, and we already voted on that and that's and apologies, Mr. Giffen. I'm used to saying Mr. Miller, so <laughs> it's from the school board. <laughs> school boards, that's why. 
Okay. <clears throat> Shall we now vote on the agenda as it is amended? Oh, we already. I think we already did that. We already done that. Yeah, we're comments from citizens. So we're, we already finished that yeah. part. Okay. So one first item. At this time, <clears throat> we have had comments from citizens. We also have another item on the agenda for tonight. When we have a board appointment, we normally ask the candidates that are being considered for that board appointment to make a statement. And tonight we have candidates for the Tallahoma Utilities Board appointment. First off, who has, has put his name in for appointment to the utility board is Dr. Blanks. Dr. Blanks' term as alderman will, of course, end the next board meeting. He would not be appointed to the Tullahoma Utility Board until after that appointment, after his, after his term as alderman. So at this time, I would invite Alderman Blanks to make any comments that he would care to make regarding his qualifications and desire to serve on TUA board. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'll try to be brief. Um, I have served on the TUA board as the liaison for the city for the past uh, five years. Um, I understand the intricacies of the Tallahoma Utility Authority and um, what they represent. They provide um, safe power, fast internet um, to the citizens of Tallahoma at a reasonable uh, price. We also, if you have problems, you can call and speak to uh, somebody that speaks like you do instead of having somebody that you can't understand. You know, we provide good, clean, reliable service. And um, having been part of that for the past few years, I would like to continue to be able to bring um, clean, reliable energy and water to the citizens of Tullahoma. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. We have another candidate that, uh, who could not be with us tonight but has submitted a letter that I'll ask the city recorder to read. This is from Ms. Patricia Dean. Board of Mayor and Aldermen. In May 2022, I submitted my citizen participation form with the City of Tullahoma, indicating my interest in serving as director on the Tullahoma Utilities Authority. I am currently out of town hiking and kayaking in Lake Jocasi area of South Carolina, so I am not able to attend and speak before you this evening. As I indi indicated in my citizen participation form, I became a part of the Tullahoma community in 2018, having relocated from the densely popula populated coastal region of Southern California, I cherish the small town, rural nature of Tullahoma and surrounding communities. Soon after my move, I became a member of the Tennessee Trails Association and am now chair of the Highland Rim chapter. I am also a member of Friends of Short Springs. Through active participation with these groups, I've had the opportunity to be involved in the support, conservation, and maintenance of our local parks. The experience that I would bring to the TUA board is a broad understanding of energy and water resources. As a tenured faculty member teaching earth science, geology, oceanography for 27 years in the California Community College system. I have investigated, investi hmm. I have investigated multiple projects and issues related to energy and water resources. In that professional capacity, I've had the opportunity to tour <coughs> several plant facilities, including oil and gas powered, dams, hydroelectric, geothermal and nuclear power. I have also had the opportunity to tour multiple types of mining operations, both active and historical. I have also monitored issues related to solar and wind development in Southern California, as well as potential lithium extraction in the Salton Sea region. An additional area of interest and investigation includes water resources, both water surface both surface water and groundwater. 
Although the Tennessee landscape is different from that of Southern California, the issues and technology changes. Hmm. Although the Tennessee landscape is different from that of Southern California, the issues and technology challenges related to energy and water resources are much the same. Given my background in geological science and interest in energy and water resources, I determined that a director position on the TUA board would be a place that I could well serve. I look forward to representing the community of Tullahoma through a director position on the TUA board. I ask for your support and vote for this appointment. And that is also in the agenda. Thank you. With that, uh, I would entertain a n nomination for the TUA board. That is later on in the agenda. We've heard from the candidates at this point. That's, thank you. <coughs> At this time, we'll <coughs> get a report from our alderman. We'll start with alderman, um, alderman, McGee, alderman Blackwell. Blackwell, Alderman Blackwell. Um, only thing I have to report is I'm hoping that I, um, as as I'm coming off the board in the next couple of weeks, um, regarding the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention's walk. Um, I've been the captain for Team Tullahoma, and instead I'm going to be fundraising on my own, separate from it. But I'm hoping that either Alderman Dunn or Alderman Barry would be willing to take that on as team captain. If one of you guys would email me, I would appreciate that, and I can get you set up in our system. And that's it. Thank you, Alderman Blackwell. Alderman Dunn. Did you? Did you just volunteer me? I volunteered both something? of you guys. Um, in public me. All right. <laughs> um, I've, uh, I have gathered, I think, somewhere around 30 rain barrels for an upcoming rain barrel event. So no date picked right yet, but um, stay tuned. It will, be, it will be at one of our future farmers markets. We'll, I know a lot of people have been interested in the rain barrels. Well, I'm an um, I'm not going to do a small business shout out uh, today given all of the other things that are going on. Um, I'm really disappointed in what we're doing here tonight um, in several different ways. Uh, I would just like to start at the, at the beginning and I, I do not wish to be cut off please. Um, number one, I, I would like to first off thank Jimmy Blanks for his service and not to take away from his 13 years of, of really, you know, working for the people and, and showing up here and, and at sometimes being martyred. We all know what that's like. Um, you know, you're right. Yeah, I, I appreciated your comments, but I'm, I'm a little disappointed that uh, I didn't see Sir Nobia also maybe get a plaque and, and Rupa, I'm hoping that we'll get to do something for it because their, their service was just as important. I'd like to thank them too for the, you're not the mayor. I said point of order, mayor. What's your point? This doesn't have to do with the board. It's it the does. Board. This is the board I sit on. I sit on the board of mayor and aldermen, and it has to do with this board. So, um, furthermore, I also was looking at some some different things on this on these motions, and I don't uh, I don't believe that the citizens will appreciate whether we're the point of this is to kick it back down or to move it up or whatever. I, I just don't like the way that this meeting is going tonight. We're not giving due re diligence or respect to the citizens or to even some members of this board <laughs> that deserve it. Um, we've made a contract by the previous motion and I would like to honor that contract with the citizens. Um, and I hope you would too. And Eventually, it would get passed back down to the Planning Commission regardless, but we need to follow through with what we said we would do and not pull any Hail Marys. Um, so I don't, I think that's more important. Furthermore, um, I, went, I did attend with Cernobia a Housing Authority meeting, and it was good to get to see her in action, and she's been, uh, she's been great at those, and, and I just happened to pass, get an invite to go to one last week and got to learn about that some. I encourage the community to come out and attend those. Uh, they're not well-attended meetings, but there's, they, they have a very large budget, and they do, they do some interesting things with that and um, uh, to bring awareness with that. 
And then I'll end with, I just want to remind this board that we don't work for the city or the Think 2040 plan or Jennifer Moody or the planning commission. We work for the citizens. <clears throat> That's who we need to be listening to right now. Alderman Berry. Anything else? Yeah. I got nothing. Mayor. Alderman McGee. Um, I would like to report that I did attend the Tullahoma Housing Authority meeting. Um, they are going to be um, changing their hours of operation. Um, their hours of operate eight operation the maintenance will be there Monday through Thursday 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Fridays they will work 7 a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. the office staff will be there from 7 30 a.m. to 4 30 p.m. Monday through Thursday and Friday 7 30 un until 12 30 p.m. Um, also they will have um, coming up very soon an open slot on their board of directors. Um, I was asked to um, mention that as well on tonight. And um, I don't know if this is in order tonight or I don't know, but I would like to just have a statement to say regarding me as being alderman. Please, please okay. go ahead. All right. To the citizens of Tullahoma and to my colleagues on the board of mayor and alderman, Thank you for allowing me to serve as one of your aldermen the last two years. Thank you for allowing me to make history by being the first African-American female to hold this position. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve and work with each of you. I did my best to serve with excellence, humility, grace, poise, diligence, wisdom, and class, being mindful of not only what I said, but how I said it. I will continue being involved in the community, just as I did prior to being appointed as an alderman. I want to say congratulations to Daniel Berry, Jerry Mathis, Kurt Glick, and to Bobby Sue Johnson. Wilson, I Wilson. Wilson, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I put that in my notes. Wilson, I'm sorry, Bobby Wilson. I pray that the needs of the people are met and that you allow their voices to be heard, that each of you serve with the heart for our city and our citizens without any other motives. A true leader does not cause division or separation, but a true leader, leader brings people together. We are a city made up of people from all walks of life, different backgrounds, different ethnicities, and different cultures. It is important that you are willing to serve them all. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your service. Bobby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mayor Pro Tem Blanks. Hard to follow that. Uh -huh. Snoopy. Not everybody <laughs> may not know that. I know. I <laughs> That's my nickname. I'm sorry. Yeah. The OGs yeah. know we Snoopy. Know. Um, since our last meeting, I had a TUA um, board meeting, also DRUC. Um, we've had rain this summer. Um, it was a little drier than usual, not as dry as the summer of 2007 when the lake got down real low and we had to worry about water, but you know, we, we got plenty of water now, we got good clean water. Um, we were plus, I think three or four signups for light tube last month. So that's still grow, going great guns and we're hoping to sign up a bunch more um, this month. Um, I did a little bit of talking at the podium um, but this is my last voting meeting. Um, so, you know, I've, I've sat through quite a few meetings. Um, and like I said, I, I think most of us do what is best for the citizens of Tullahoma. Um, does it always look neat and clean? No. Are we always perfect? No. Um, but we, we try to do the best that we can do, so. Um, Bear with us, the citizens of Tullahoma. I think we have your best interest in heart most of the time. Um, the 
But be careful what you say. The tongue is like a rudder. It'll turn the ship. When it's out there, you can't bring it back. And I'm speaking not only to the members of this board and the future members of this board, but also the, the people that come up here and make public comment. So, you know, some things can be said. You know, you have to have a thick skin to be up here, but like I said, sometimes it cuts a little bit. So, you know, when you walk in these shoes, then you'll understand. Um, the last thing I'd like to say um, is shop telehome. <laughs> Mayor, it's yours. Shop telehome. Yeah. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, actually, I have no no report tonight. I'll uh, address the. Uh, I'd like to ask our representative from our city attorney, Mr. Griffin. Do you have anything you could add to our meeting tonight, Mr. Griffin? I do not, Your Honor. Okay. With that, we'll move to our report from our city administrator. Ms. Thank Murray. you, Mayor, Mayor. I wanted to share a few items with you all. Um, one, wanted to thank those of you that attended our employee pool party uh, yesterday. We had a wonderful event, and I especially thank our parks and recreation staff who helped to host us um, when it is an event meant for our employees. I know they have to, they end up working and supporting the rest of us. Um, so just wanted to share a thank you to them. Also, uh, coming up this week at 10 a.m. on August 11th, I uh, want to invite all of you to join for a grand opening at Marshall's at Northgate Mall. So again, that's 10 a.m. at August 11th. And of course, any members of the public that are listening, we would like you to attend as well. Um, August 22nd at 5 p.m., just before the regular board meeting, uh, we will be having another reception that's for all outgoing and incoming members of the Board of Mayor and Aldermen. Um, and absolutely, we will have plaques for our outgoing group of Blackwell and Cernobia McGee and honor them at that time. Also wanted to share with you so you can go ahead and be planning for this. Um, the city is going to be hosting two upcoming blood drives with blood assurance. One of them is planned for 9 to 12 on August 23rd at D.W. Wilson Community Center. If you cannot make that date, we'll have another one here at City Hall and the Tullahoma Police Department on September 6th. Um, so please support that. And then last, for you all and the members of the community, I just want to remind you, September 8th, we have an important visit from the Association of Defense Communities. Tullahoma is honored to be designated as a 2022 Great American Defense Community. And as a part of that great honor, the association will visit Tullahoma, visit some of our local businesses and community events, such as Taste of Tullahoma that'll be going on that evening. And they're gonna be putting together a 10 minute video that will be used as part of national promotions of this great designation. And it'll be shown at their annual conference in Phoenix in October. Um, so one of the things that we're asking for the community to do to prepare for that visit and it also happens to align with the upcoming anniversary of September 11th, um, we're asking that any promotions or marketing or banners, anything that you're putting up at your business, if you can support us by showing your red, white, and blue, uh, we would appreciate it and just make Tullahoma uh, really look like the great American defense community that we are. What date is that, I'm sorry? September 8th. So we're saying whatever promotions are going up or that you might be working on right now, maybe leave those up at least through September 11th to help us do that. So thank you, Mayor. That's my report. Thank you, Ms. Moody. With that, we'll move into the consent agenda. Consent agenda has been approved, and we will <coughs> I'll read the captions for the consent agenda. Item number 22115. This is a minutes from the July 25th regular meeting of the board, regular meeting and the public hearing. And 22 116 is to be to set a public hearing on the first reading on August 22nd on a request to rezone property on 1900 block of North Washington Street and Veterans Boulevard from the general commercial C2 zone district to the medium density residential R2 zoning district to the high density 
residential R3 zoning district. 22-117 is another public hearing on first and first reading for August 22nd. To rezone the property at 208 and 210 West Warren Street from Central Commercial C1 to High Density Residential R3. Item 22-115, another public hearing, August 22nd, on a request for the city to designate as surplus property for sale at 923 and 925 Maplewood Avenue. Item number 22-19, another public hearing, August 22nd, <coughs> on a request for the city to designate as surplus real property and sale of an area 50 feet wide by 120 feet in length that's 600, that's 6,000 square feet inside an unimproved right-of-way adjacent to 324 and 326 Druid Lane. And finally, on item 22-120, is to announce a vacancy on the Tullahoma Regional Planning Commission and consider applications of interest citizens to serve on that board. That is our entertaining motion to I'd like approve consent agenda. I'd like to make a motion to amend. Or to remove something from the consent agenda. You move to approve the consent agenda? No, I'd like to make a motion to remove an item from the consent agenda. It can't be done. We've already approved the agenda. I'm sorry. It's consent agenda. The consent agenda is a separate agenda. No, that, no, that's part of the agenda. We would have to do that at the first of the meeting when we're approving the agenda. That's the way we have to do that. I'd like to get a motion to approve the agenda. Alderman Blackwell. Motion to approve. Okay. Seconded by Black Bavaria. Any discussion on the agenda? Yes. I can, I ask, yes can I ask a question then, just for clarification on the consent agenda? You said any discussion on it. Have, have a discussion. We? Okay, we have all these people, and I just want to ask, what is that 208 and 210 West Warren right now? I believe it's a residential property. Um, is it one of those that just didn't get rezoned when it was supposed to? Because it says it's C1. Is it C1? It's C1 going to R3. So I'm just, this R3 has us all nervous right now. Okay. I, I'd like to invite Mary Samaniego to speak to this Sammy item. Up here. Mary Samaniego, um, this is a consent agenda item that's already um, gone to the Planning Commission. It's to rezone those two addresses to R3 um, in order for them to build one additional house. This is just a this, public yeah, hearing. Yeah, this is to set the public hearing, not to rezone. Okay. I, I was just curious what was there, though. Yeah, I think currently. there's, there's also two. an error. My agenda says NA, but I think you should have a map in your packet. Let me try to find that for you. This I know, is I just, just couldn't, the consent I saw agenda the map. to I, set the hearing. I just couldn't place it in my head what what was actually there's on a that residential property. home adjacent to this property. It's two pieces correct? of it's it's. It's two pieces of property that are under single ownership. One has a house on it, one's vacant. Mm -hmm. okay. the, it's a very small lot. The only lot that, um, the only zoning district that made sense as far as the setback is the R3. The property owner wants to build one house on that property. Okay, it's because of the lot size. Okay. It's currently zoned C1, it's in the downtown district, but per the new place types map of the draft plan that the planning commission adopted but hasn't been adopted here, which is still an advisory, it's that block south of Chestnut Alley is supposed to go back to residential because that's what it is now. So we're already using the plan to make planning decisions? On an advisory basis, yes. The Planning Commission has the authority to adopt the plan on an advisory basis. It, hasn't be, it doesn't have to legally be reviewed for consistency, but the Planning Commission has the sole authority per state statute to adopt the plan. But right now it's just advisory. The board, when they make their decision, doesn't have to abide by the plan. They don't have to find it a rezoning consistent or not consistent with the plan, but they still can consider it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm agreeing to approve the consent agenda. Read for no. Consent agenda is approved six to one. Moving now to un, unfinished business, which you should, should be able to go through this fairly quickly. Ordinance number Mayor, 15. I have a point of order. I'm sorry. 
I believe I saw a 7-0 vote to move that item to reconsider to the top of the agenda. To the new business. Under new business. Under new business. And the, okay. So you just moved it a few items. Moved it to the first under item under new business. Okay. Bill. Under unfinished business, we'll go through that quickly. Ordinance number 1579 is an ordinance to the city of Tullahoma to amend the ordinance number 1540 adopting the annual budget and the tax rate for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 21st, 2021 and ending June 30th, 2022 for passage on third and final reading. That includes everything that our finance director could bring into it to make it complete. So we get a motion. Second. Those blanks and seconds about Blackwell. And uh, that was the subject of the uh, uh, wait meeting that we had earlier. So is there any question on that? I think this is Wilson. Yes, Ms. Wilson. I just wanted to point out that will need to be amended this time to include the school budgets that are in this in, in this reading. So it will be a motion um, to bring it uh, bring it forward, and then a motion you need a motion to amend, and then adopt it as amended with the school okay. budgets. I'd like to make a motion to amend to add the school budgets within it per Sue Wilson's recommendation. How's that? And seconded by Alderman McGee. Discretion on the amendment. Green for yes and red for no. That's approved seven to zero. Motion to amend. And we'll go to the original motion. Green for yes and red for no. As amended. As amended. As amended. And that's approved seven to zero. Next to the ordinance number 1580, an ordinance to amend the zoning map of the city of Tullahoma to set forth that in the Tullahoma Municipal Code, which is ordinance number 1392, to rezone approximately 2.3 acres located at 95 Ovoca Lake Road from RS1, low density residential district, in the, co in the county to R1, low density residential in the city. That's for second final reading. Motion That's approved. Motion and second, second. by Blackwell. Bl blanks and Blackwell. Blanks and Blackwell. Any questions? Comments? Green for yes and red for no. Seven to zero. Passes. Ordinance number 1581, ordinance to amend the zoning map of the city of Tullahoma, set forth the Tullahoma Municipal Code, which is ordinance number 1592. The rezone approximately 0.5 acres located at uh, 701 East Grizzard Street and 406 North College Street. That's, a, that's uh, from R2, medium density residential, to high density residential. This is for passage on second <coughs> and final reading. Motion? Move to approve. Motion to blanks, second by? Sure. Second, second by Blackwell. Any comments to any question? Green for yes and red for no. It passes seven to zero. Ordinance number 1583, in ordinance to amend the code of ordinance to the city of Tullahoma. <clears throat> That's uh, amending title one, general administrative chapter one, general provision section 1-111, election voting precincts by deleting in its entirety and substituting a new section 111 and that's on page 93 and that has to do with the deletion of the names for the voting precinct uh get a motion move to approve second motion from blacks seconded by blackwell and i'll go to our assistant administrator this is your you put this on the agenda you want any background on that no, Mayor, it's just a Good. second reading to remove the names of the precincts and uh, to update it in the code. Second reading to remove the names of the precincts, and that will be established by the Election Commission for Coffee County and Franklin County. Mm -hmm. okay. No further question. Green for yes and red for no. That passes 7 to 0. 1884, in order to amend the code of ordinance for the city of Tullahoma. <coughs> That's amending Title I, the General Administrative of Chapter 2 of the Board of Mayor and Alderman. Section 1-202 is a special rules of order by substituting a new section. 
1-207 that reflects the board of Mayor Alderman by having adopted resolution 1895, special rules of office, passage on the second, final reading. I get a motion on the floor. Motion by Dunn, seconded by Blackwell. For Barry. Blarry, <laughs> seconded, okay. With that, uh, are there any comments or questions on, on making this change? Up in the special rules. I'd like to make a motion to postpone. Since these are the rules and, and regulations that will um, be affecting the future board for the next four years, I believe they should have a say-so in it. And I realize it's the second reading, um, but I think that, that should, they should have the opportunity to, to do so. I'd love to have a second on that. Okay, we've got a motion and a second. With, uh, and then we've got a motion to postpone. We'll vote to we'll take the motion to postpone. Green to postpone and red. Well, no, we, we don't have a second. second. We have a second. Did we not get a second? I'll second. You get your second? We got a second from Alvin McGee. Then we'll vote on a green to postpone and red to not postpone. Red to post, green to postpone, red to not postpone. And the vote is wait. Wait, wait that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. No, that's not I right. I didn't. I did not. I voted red. I did too. The motion we have is to postpone, mm -hmm. and we vote green to postpone, Postponing. red to, to not, not postpone. postpone. Okay. I did too. I think you guys pushed it before red the to not yeah, before the motion. Green to postpone. To postpone. We'll revote. You guys pressed it. That vote. Okay. Postponed fails five to two. We we'll go back to the original motion. The motion is to adopt the uh, special rules and procedures on second and final reading. Any further discussion? Vote green to approve, red for no. I hadn't. Yeah. I hadn't yet. Um, wait a minute. Wait, I, I voted wrong too as well. Okay. All right, I've cleared the board. Wait a second. I have cleared the board for everyone. <coughs> okay. Do, so we all have to do it again? Yep. Yes. Okay. okay, just making sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> everyone voted? Yes. And that passes 7 to 0. The next item on the agenda is old business number 22113. Consider the approval to designate a surplus real property as sale of 411 East Carroll Street. That's a carryover from last board meeting. Get a motion. Move to approve. Motion from Flax and seconded by Barry. In discussion, let me let a recognized city administrator for mm -hmm. background on this. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity since I was not here at the last board meeting. Um, Mr. Daniel Wallace and some of his staff and I and actually Alderman Barry attended the meeting as well. And Winston Brooks, our economic development director, attended. And I was able to meet with them and discuss exactly what the process and next steps look like to move towards purchase. And uh, unfortunately, we had been in discussions in the last few weeks, and I had not made him aware of the exact date and time of the meeting. I had just generally shared with him that the, one of the steps is the board must surplus the property before we get to closing. So you might remember uh, almost a year ago today, back in last September, this board approved the city attorney, the mayor, and I to negotiate a possible lease or sale of this property. And now that we are currently um, wanting to move forward with requests for proposals, because remember there are only two methods that we can sell real property, and that's either by public auction or request for proposal. So now that we're at that point to re competitively request proposals, I'm seeking uh, your approval for this to be formally recognized as surplus property. And with that background, uh, is there any further discussion? Yes, what's the um, sentiments of the young man who attended last time? I Yes, so Daniel agreement? Wallace is the one of the things that we clarified is 
throughout the past year I have primarily worked with his father his father unfortunately passed away about two months ago which I only just learned when I met with him but he is now currently the primary contact and the owner of that property and they are very interested still in purchasing the building um, as I said we have up until this point only communicated with our existing tenant and with your approval to surplus the property I'll go ahead and advertise for 60 days request for proposals see if we receive any other offers and then um, we'll have a study session so I can present the proposals to you and discuss a recommendation before we move forward with the sale. So it's not, nothing's going to happen in the next 60 days. They've got um, their. No, their primary concern was about how are we advertising to solicit bids. Okay. Hold on, Barry. Just briefly, I did speak with him today. He had called to ask about this, and after the conversation, there's still some questions outstanding that he does have, but there's an understanding that it has to go to surplus before really anything can start happening. Uh, and I told him that I would relay that to to the board. Any further discussion? Okay, this is to consider the surplus. So I'm making this uh, consider the approval to designate it as surplus. Well, green for yes and red for no. And that passes seven to zero. Being no other unfinished business, we'll move into the new business at this time. And the first item that we'll consider is the Think Telehoma 2040 plan. So that. Uh, was your motion to get that moved, Dalton Barry? So to kind of, <clears throat> I think that the motives and intent were have been grossly misinterpreted uh, and misunderstood. Um, so we're governed how all this works. There's state law that dictates how these things work how it's passed that it has to be passed that the planning commission certifies it the boma can choose to adopt it or not to adopt it but the planning commission still going to certify it they're a commission they're governed by state law and if we have an issue with how tca works and we need to talk to rush and uh, janice and fix those issues there the intent here is so and stop me if i'm incorrect the intent here is this board while we may make recommendations back to the planning commission and say hey they're an independent they're not a subsidiary they're not under our thumbs they're an independent body of the people that we put there we can make a recommendation they can choose to or not but what we can't do is take the plan that they have given us and amend and adopt and stop me if I'm wrong we cannot amend that plan and adopt that amended plan it's got to go through this whole process so the motion is to not say hey let's not have these town halls let's not have it's to continue to do those things sitting up here at this board right now the plan we can get all the feedback in the world we want we're gonna have to kick it back to the Planning Commission anyway we're gonna have to say no to this plan to make those amendments and those changes that the public wants but when we keep it sitting here we're just holding that up we're holding that process up and so the thought and the reasoning and the game behind this is to put it back into the hands of the people who can actually get things done let's have more I think we all agree we need some more public engagement let's do it let's put it in a place where that can be done let's continue with the town hall let's have virtual I think having multiple sessions are is a better idea because maybe not everybody can make it to one single town hall so let's have four different ones at different times on different nights you know and so that is my intent is let's bring it back let's vote it down and kick it back to the Planning Commission 
yes, I currently sit on that planning commission, but I probably won't be after the 22nd. So it has nothing to do with where I'm at. Uh, but that is, that's where that is. We can't do anything with it anyway. Yeah, you can now make your motion. I know. Like, <laughs> oh, I thought that that was. <laughs> no, that was. I make a motion to reconsider the postponement and bring the 2040 plan back up for adoption. Speak before that. So we need to. I think we need, we need to finish on this discussion on. I think we, we need, need to have a second. 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 Like he shouldn't have either discussion. talked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he shouldn't have really. <laughs> I, uh, I thought that he yeah. was telling me. Yeah, that's okay. So, so we'll, we'll need a we'll second to discuss. We'll need a second to discuss it. Okay. We've got a second from McGee's. We've got a second. Alderman Almacher. Okay. So, thank God for cell phones. Uh, there is um, some opinions on Robert's Rules of Order uh, that says that occasions when reconsider may not be used. If third parties acquire vested rights as a consequence of a body's actions, those actions cannot be reconsidered. Um, it appears that reconsideration is out of order in the following situations. One of those is when a contractual arrangement has been entered into, and I think that since you've already scheduled the town halls, that would be a step forward towards that motion. Um, and reconsideration of action A would conflict with action B, which is what we'd already previously promised to um, the citizens. Also, it says if a measure is to be reconsidered, rescinded, or amended at a meeting, um, you know, past the initial, initial action, the intent to do so must be on public notice of the meeting. So you would have had to advertise that in order to do this, which I think is what their complaint is. Um, also, I disagree with the sentiments about the Planning Commission being the overarching authority over this plan because it is not a plan just for rezoning. It is a comprehensive plan, which means it will involve everything that the city is over, not just what the planning commission is over. It will affect every board and every department, not just the planning commission. We have the authority to override it and change it in any way, unless it's a zoning plan but if it's been it's been advertised as a comprehensive plan, so I don't I don't like the sound of any of this. Um, but I also think that if we remove it now, if we if we pass this motion now and bring it back to the table, and then we vote no on the plan and send it back to the planning commission, what we are basically saying is the only thing different is oh by the way we're no longer in contract now to provide you with the town halls we promised or the study session and that's the message you're sending right now it may not be what you're intending but it is the message you are sending and so i believe you should we shouldn't even be voting on this it sends up a, a terrible message we have a motion then we have a second i'm going to go to Alderman blackwell first I'm going to ask a question to Jennifer, Mr. Giffen, really fast, because my understanding is that you can, in, in our code, we can reconsider at the next meeting. And I want to make sure if that trumps Robert's Rules of Order or what comes, what does and what does not. It's, it's actually interesting. Tonight on your agenda, you had an item amending that section of the code. So if you go to page 100, you can actually see an exhibit of the municipal code and the special rules of order that you have adopted. And this item is actually not something that you changed, but it just happens that the entire part of the code is here. So if you look at page 100, um, it's titled special rules of order. It's title one, section 207. These are the rules of order and procedure of regular and special called meetings of the board of mayor and aldermen. It outlines, you know, rule number one is explaining that your parliamentary authority comes from Robert's Rules of Order. And then the following rules after that talk about exceptions to Robert's. Rule number 10, reconsider, says a motion to reconsider may be made only at the same or the next business meeting in which the original vote was taken and be made only by a member who voted on the prevailing side and must be seconded by any member. If it isn't there something that says, um, we t discussed this in parliamentary procedure that if you've taken action towards something, then you would be prohibited from 
And I think you're thinking of under Robert's Rules of Order, rescind, which the mayor had asked a question about rescind today. Um, and rescind just talks about you cannot rescind items um, where the main motion has basically already been implemented. Like an example that they frequently give is if you had approved a purchase and that purchase has already been made, you can't back up and reconsider whether or not to purchase it. So I think you're thinking of rescind where this, he is motioning to reconsider because it happened the very la last meeting. Well, we would have to rescind first, wouldn't we? No. The one difference with rescind is the who is required to vote. Um, it's a more difficult two-thirds majority vote, and it can happen at any future meeting. Reconsider is very is unique in that it can only happen during the same meeting. Like, say you voted and then immediately had regret later in the same meeting and wanted to go back, or the very next meeting. So what is the regret? Okay, we have uh, your motion and we have a second. I just have just a small yes. discussion. I just want to make sure I'm understanding this. Mm -hmm. What Daniel is proposing to do is a benefit to everyone, right, to be able to um, amend this, is my saying, okay, amend this plan to meet the satisfaction of our citizens, correct? Is that what I'm on? Okay. But not to break the contracts of the meetings with the public. But it will they break will the contract. Go. How is it breaking it if they're still going to have them? It, that's my, I'm just, they, I'm asking You won't have to, th there's already talk that what we said in the previous meeting is not being done. A town hall, forgive me, Mayor, I disagree with what, what your de definition of a town hall is. A town hall would be where all the stakeholders come to the same meeting at the same time at the same place. What you're doing is not a town hall. And, and that is what we, we actually voted on and promised to the members of this audience. If we rescind this vote and we go ahead and kick that back down now, we actually are saying we don't have to do that. So we voted on a town hall and not these individuals. We voted on a motion to postpone until X, Y, and Z happened. The town hall, the study session. And so if we back this up now and we motion to reconsider, then yes, we can vote no and we can kick this down to the planning commission because that will have to, have, have to happen in the future. But really the main that point of that that bothers me is we're no longer in contract with providing exactly what we said prior. And, and the... Fine, the future board, we can do a motion to rescind and reconsider. We'll just try that at the next meeting. But my point is, there's no need to do this tonight other than upset this audience. I think we're doing exactly what the, we have promised to do is to give every opportunity to our citizens to make comments to our this And we will continue to do that. If we will not engage We've had opportunities for public comments on this, and we will have more public comments, but we will not engage in the audience participation in the board meeting tonight. Made that clear at the beginning of the meeting. We appreciate your being here. We will hear everything that you have to say, but this board has business to conduct, and we will conduct it. You're not recognized. I have a point. You have not recognized. You have not you're recognized. Have you're out of order. Because the vote you're about to take is going to be I will recess order. this meeting and you will not be heard. Go ahead and recess it. To rescind a prior action Mayor. according Mayor. to Robert. Mayor.
We have a we have a motion on the floor, and we have a second. I call the question. Question's been called. Alderman Barry, you want to restate your motion? Motion to reconsider the postponement of the 2040 plan, 2040 plan and put it back on the agenda for a vote. Yeah. That's the motion. That is your motion to put it on. That's, yes. Yeah, that's the motion. Yep. We already voted on that. Exactly. It is, it's on the agenda. It's on yeah. Yeah, I thought we already did that. that. So he was just asking to restate. Okay. okay. He, so is this now just, the he was just having me restate it before we vote on it so that everybody's clear on what's happening. That we're putting it on the agenda. We're, we already okay. voted to put it on the agenda. We got it on the agenda, but we're voting now to an up or down vote, a yes or no vote on the comp plan that's been presented. And then uh, so it includes sending it back to the planning commission. And we will continue to have the town hall meetings as we've outlined earlier mm -hmm. in the meeting today. This time we'll have a, have a vote. Call the question's been called. I'm we'll need to we'll need to vote to po to reconsider the postponement first, and then have it. It's yep. already on the agenda right now. Uh, to reconsider. I'm not saying I'm not saying to put it on the agenda. It's already on the agenda. We have to vote on that postponement first. Yes, what he is saying is correct. Yes. If you read the motion that was approved at the last board the meeting, is to reconsider that is what's being reconsidered, okay. right. not reconsidered. the underlying okay. ordinance. Right. And okay. then I'll have to motion to put That's it back correct. on, which I can do it this time with a two-thirds majority. No, you can't change the agenda again. Uh, absolutely. We're only we can voting on a motion to remove the postponement. It's already on the agenda. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It was on the agenda. Okay, we're voting on... We're going to vote to postpone mm -hmm. first and then vote up. Okay, you're voting to postpone? Wait, reconsider. Recons not postpone. Reconsider. 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 Reconsider.
in the same legislative session, which is ending tonight. Ends tonight, right? But you could still even do it if it substantially changes, which after the motions and the amendments that the Planning Commission gives, that will substantially change that document. So either way, once there is a plan, it will rise back up to the board for adoption. Until that time, it's just the Planning Commission using it. The rest of the city doesn't have to. So that's, that's all we're doing. Okay, <coughs> your, your motion is to approve the plan as presented and if that fails, it fails, it will go back to the Planning Commission. Yes. Hold on, I'm Keyword, you can still do, not you shall still do. Because even though we're promising these invitations, we're promising these invitations to come and talk to whoever decides to show up, because we can't promise you who's going to be there. And uh, not everybody's gonna be there at the same time, nor is your board required to be there, but you can still do these things. With the way it is right now, we had a contract where we can't bring it back, future board or whatever, until X, Y, and Z happen. I would like to keep this, I would have liked to keep it with this board um, and not kick it back down to the Planning Commission. Um, but if, Obviously, it's not going to pass tonight unless y'all are just really sneaky. But I just don't understand now what the plan even is and what we are sending back to the Planning Commission. So we vote to adopt it, it goes through. If we vote no, it goes back to the Planning Commission, but we don't have to take any further action, nor will there be a study session with our board? There's a plan to have a study session after it has been back to the Planning Commission and we've had the town hall meetings that we discussed. That's the new plan, okay. Okay, we have Holman Berry's motion and Holman McGee. I, I just wanna say, cause you know, I'm, I'm There's so much contention right now that no one is really able to focus or even think clearly. Um, no one is trying to be sneaky. Um, I don't like those types of accusations um, because it's, you're saying it as a reflection of the whole board unless y'all are trying to be sneaky. I'm not trying to be sneaky. I'm trying to understand and do what's best for the people, whether I'm on this board or not. I understood it to be a benefit to everyone to postpone it so that this plan can actually meet the satisfaction of our citizens because there are still so many questions. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to be sneaky or any of that. You know, all this, It just has to stop. It just has to stop, even for our city to move forward, even with this comprehensive plan. If the meetings are gonna to continue to be like the meeting is going tonight, you're gonna, not gonna get anything accomplished within the next however many years, because it's just gonna stay here while it goes back and forth. So I, I think the contention, and, and people are they're not really listening to hear, they're listening to respond. And we need to listen to hear. So I'm just trying to understand and do what's best for the citizens of Tullahoma. I'm all for growth, but I need, it, it, it should be slow and it should be careful. Mm -hmm. But that's what we're trying to do. Mayor. I'm done, thank you, Mayor. Mayor, I, um, first I just wanna say, um, Thank you to um, Alderman Barry for recognizing that there are problems with this plan that yes. our, our mm -hmm. planning commission needs to address. And I also want to thank um, the city staff members who recognize that we have a lot of working parents who couldn't make one meeting, but maybe they could make one of the other three. 
and I'm very thankful that we have um, a group of people who are working very hard to include as many people as possible in this process. I'd also like to say I'm thankful that the city recognized that tonight would not be an appropriate time for a study session since many of us will not be on this board. So for those of you who are questioning the study session tonight, it is a study session of the board. The board that will be voting on it is not this board. Mm -hmm. So it is appropriate that our study session is not tonight. I'm excited that we are having four separate things that if everybody would like to go to and make it there for all every one of them and show up at each one then great but there are a lot of people a lot of single parents working moms who cannot make Fridays and Saturdays I will be voting against the 2040 plan as it stands now tonight um, I will uh, would, would look forward to participating in those town halls as a citizen um, because that will be my role at that time it is not appropriate for me to be part of a study session at this point. Thank you. I don't know why you're looking at me. I'm perfectly great with us not having the study session okay, tonight. Great. Nobody's saying that. Good. Yeah, the, the study, session sh study session should not be tonight, just like the other thing, the rules of the policies and procedures for the next board, that shouldn't be voted on tonight either. Um, nobody's upset about the study session. But we said, before we talk about this comprehensive plan again, we promised this audience, hey, X, Y, and Z will happen first. Now we're saying, mm, we're going to go ahead and just vote no, kick it down. But that also takes away the, hey, we promise you X, Y, and Z will happen first. Now, I'm hoping we still do those things. But what it does is it does take away some of the confidence that we will do those things because we're no longer bound to do those things. I agree with not having the study session tonight. I do not agree on having this vote tonight. Uh, Mayor, call if call I may. Call a question, please. Question's been called. Question's been called. We have no further discussion, but we want to go at our vote. We'll vote up or down on the Planning Commission. If it fails, it goes back to the Planning Commission so for a study. No, this so is a no to kill the plan. Can't kill the plan. It goes back to the plan. Yeah. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Never mind. No, it's to kill it. Yeah, no, it's stressful. I don't know if I'm okay. <clears throat> Do I need to reset? Let me reset before okay, I show Okay, let's say that again. I'll reset. Because I'm confused. If you vote no, you're you're sending the 2040 plan back to the Planning Commission. We're not approving it. This board is saying if you vote no, it's saying if the if the no if it doesn't pass, this board is saying the plan has to be sent. Okay. It's not. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Mayor, point of order. I have a question about motions to to reconsider in the future. I need some clarification on. You have to vote in the prevailing side, whatever that is, no or yes, to be able to bring it back up, right? It was on the right side. Okay, so I guess I do vote no. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you. All right. Has everyone voted? Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, I have, I think, right? And most seven zero to be Mayor. go back to the planning commission. Mayor. Yes, the administrator. Would you entertain some comments from Mary San Diego and myself? San Diego, would you like to address the board? Thank you, I'm Mary San Diego. I just wanted to um, take this opportunity to explain some things um, for your own information and for the public's information that has come out tonight. Um, at the last board meeting, you voted to have a study session so you could be briefed on the plan and you wanted the Walker Collaborative there um, because they're the ones that wrote the plan. You also wanted staff there and you wanted the Planning Commission President Greg Silent there. Correct. So that's the first issue. I contacted the Walker Collaborative, um, the two land use planners, they both had prior engagements. So I thought it would be not be a, a productive study session for you to get briefed on the plan with just myself 
and not the other planners represented. So that was my decision that I felt like it would be appropriate, not a decision, but that was my recommendation. I thought it would be appropriate to have a productive meeting that all of the planners that were involved in the writing of the plan and the thought processes behind the writing of the plan to all be at the table with the, plan yeah, with the board at one time to answer all the questions at once. Also, I think that it's appropriate to um, certainly hear further questions from the public. However, what I've experienced, and uh, certainly the staff is open to that, I've been asking um, every way I know how to um, have the staff public contact me with any question they might have, any education they might have. I can show them literature, I can show them the statute. I've heard from maybe under 10 people in the last two weeks, unfortunately. Secondly, the town hall process, what I witnessed at the last meeting of the board was that a lot of people were making comments um, that um, were not they not untrue, but they weren't factual comments. And unfortunately, the way that these meetings are set up, I just have to sit there. I can't, staff can't really respond or answer questions or clarify things. So that was the thought be, with the town hall meeting, the public comes up and voices their concerns and then staff and the board just kind of sits there. So that was part of the thought that an open house might be more appropriate. So staff and the planners could sit down with the public in groups or one-on-one -on -one and show them the plan, show them the state law, show them the, the different drafts of the plan to really try to get people to understand what's occurred and what can and cannot further be changed. So I just wanted to clarify that for the board and, to, and the members of the public, kind of what the thought process is. This in no way, as far as my account, is any way to circumvent some process or just as a couple words were used tonight about speeding up and quickly get it to the Planning Commission. This plan, this process can take months, it can take as long as you want. There is no rush. But I think it was clear at the last board meeting that this board had no interest in adopting the plan as it was written, mm -hmm. that it was always going to be amend, recommended for amendment to go back to the Planning Commission. That's what we just did. Right. I just, I'm trying to just clarify, because this is kind of coming through my department, what the thought process is and kind of where we're at. Thank you, Ms. San Diego. And then I just wanted to add on to that to clarify that in having this opportunity to not have a study session only with you tonight, we have the opportunity to hold a joint meeting where all the Planning Commission members and the Board of Mayor and Aldermen can discuss together. That's something that has not happened. Yes, that's that was what we intended with the town hall, but with the public's yeah. engagement as well. That's the town hall they were expecting, not a come as you want, yes. you know, like open house style town hall. They wanted all the stakeholders in the same place where they could ask the questions mm -hmm. and we could be, you know, making these decisions so together. So I think that can yes. still happen is what I'm saying. At that joint meeting, it's very important since this plan has to pass through both bodies that you all are on the same page. And surely all of our Planning Commission members are watching and hearing the discussion that's going on at our public hearing and tonight um, among you. So all of those comments need to be considered when they look at a revision to the draft plan. I think back to the joint meeting, when you all meet together in that public meeting, you can decide to hear public comments and take public comments again. But what we were also considering is that I don't doubt that anyone who's shown up tonight here is not intimidated to stand at the podium on camera and speak in a microphone. But there's many people who are not represented because they are intimidated even just by coming to the board meeting, let alone speaking at the microphone. That's why you see a lot of times people yield their time. So we're just trying to create as much opportunity as we can for the m most amount of people to participate, ask questions, hear from staff. I cannot, you are correct, I cannot compel planning commission members or even board members to attend these open houses. But I do believe that Chairman Sandlin, Mayor Noes, myself, and Mary Samaniego have all agreed to participate in those meetings. So at least that core group will be there to answer your questions. Um, I also heard a concern tonight about wanting it recorded. Of course, the public meeting would be recorded. We had not intended to record the open house meetings. Um, but what I 
what we have discussed and I think would be appropriate is making some videos to address specific, almost frequently asked questions, questions that we're hearing over and over from people. Um, and so we can put those out for the public. And I know Mary has also gone to LightTube and um, been interviewed on Channel 6. So that's out there in the public. But we can do more of that. I just want that to be said that the way I understood it, um, and just like has been said by some of you tonight, the comments that were made at the public hearing absolutely need to be heard also by the Planning Commission and need to be considered. And so my interpretation of your vote tonight is that you are making that known to the Planning Commission that you have turned down this iteration of the plan, this draft, and they need to go back to the drawing board. Um, as a staff, we already have a number of proposed revisions that we would like to make. I'm sure we'll hear from more citizens. And so again, this is part of the revision process. This is a part of making the best plan for the city of Tullahoma that we can possibly get. And so I just wanted you to know, I hope that I've, I've heard what you're saying tonight and interpreted that correctly. Thank you. End of discussion. New business, resolution number 1924. A resolution by the Board of Mayor and Alderman to support a grant application to the Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development for Placemakers Pivot and Recover Grant Program. That's a $75,000 $75, with no local match. Need a motion. Move to approve. Motion from Blackwell. Second about done. We recognize the city administrator for background. Oh, thank you. I, absolutely. We wanted to share the good news. This is something uh, that a program that the state is offering with some of the COVID relief money that they have. And it represents about $75,000 in grant funds that really will pass through the city's hands. It'll allow a consulting group called Retail Strategies. You all are familiar with them. We work with them regularly. But they're also, they have been hired by the state to provide technical assistance to small business owners. And so what this program will do, I believe it's a nine week course that'll be offered to our local and small businesses and they'll get support on how to ex increase their revenues, expand their business. I think technical assistance on um, e-marketing and online support. And so it'll just be another uh, program that we'll be able to offer to support our business community and help them recover from the last two years. Thank you. With that background, is there any further discussion? Green for approval and red for no. Passes 7-0. Resolution number 1925. Resolution to amend resolution number 20, 1895. Establishing rules and procedures for the Board of Mayor and all of them. This is a, a, a call on our assistant administrator, Mr. Wilkins, to give the background on this. I can do it. Mayor, at the last meeting, there was a discussion about um, in the procedures on citizens can yield time or not yield time, and um, it was correct that at that time it did say that citizens could not yield time, so the board requested that we add this to the agenda tonight so that that correction could be made so going forward citizens could yield their time under public comments and public hearings if they chose to do so. Resolution 1925, vote green for approval, nope. red for no. We, we need a motion. motion and a need second. a motion. Second. Barry, done. You've got the background, vote green for yes and red for no. Approve <coughs> 7 to 0. Resolution 21121, consider the appointment of a qualified applicant to the Tullahoma Utility board to serve a new five-year term ending on august 31 2027. need a nomination we have two nominations one is for dr blanks and one is from patricia dean you heard their comments earlier we need, we nomination. need nominations you need nomination Jimmy we have a nomination for Roman blanks any other nominations Ms. I nominate uh, Patricia Dean, um, and I'd like to make an ob ob objection and a motion to postpone this. Another one. I, I don't. I don't think it's 
Though I love Jimmy, this is nothing. I don't think it's appropriate for us to vote on a sitting board member who would not be eligible today at this meeting to take that um, since he's still a member of this board. I think that that Jenna, needs I don't want you're going to get this like a point of order at 730. And I think we have to vote to extend so you can continue your conversation. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, this time I'll get to entertain a motion to extend the board meeting until we resolve all the new business. Motion Got a motion to do I have a second? Second. Second. Yeah, second. All in favor say aye. I just wanted to make sure. Barry made the motion and who seconded? McGee? Yeah, yeah second. McGee. Okay. And apologies. I didn't. Oh, you're fine. To extend. But to 7-0. Okay, okay. We will extend board meeting and we have a motion from Alderman Almacher to Patricia Dean. We'll pass a ballot. Oh, and I have a motion to postpone this item. Yeah, okay, we have a motion that'll override the original motion. Okay. Is there a second? Almacher. Can we vote on an existing board member to serve on another board while he's sitting on this board? He, he, we can. He will not be on this board when he'll be appointed to the other board. We have a motion to. A is, the, is it not going to affect immediately? No. They said that earlier. No, it will not go into effect until September. This vacancy was created by Steve Cope, and his term ends August 31st. So well, then we need for you, but we can't. It, it feels inappropriate to vote the cart before the horse. Like, I'm, it feels inappropriate to vote on this with a sitting board member sitting at our table. This was announced. This, was, this vacancy was announced at a previous board meeting, and we've had the applicants submitted. Or, and it's on the agenda for tonight. You have a motion to postpone and to postpone vote green, vote red to not postpone. Well, we have a second. We don't have a second. We don't, well, we don't have a second, so excuse me. Looking for a second. We do not have a second. So that motion to postpone fails. So now we have two nominations. We already passed them down here. No, oh, sorry, I haven't passed. Oh, oh, I put your names on the bottom of the Oh, oh sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. That's right. Just for my records, it's much easier. Thank you. And apologies, Jenna. I didn't you know, make sure we're in the right. And the city recorder will record the votes. Almacher, Alderman Almacher voted for Patty Dean. Alderman Berry voted for Blanks. Mayor Pro Tem recused himself. Mayor Noes voted for Blanks. Alderman Dunn voted for Blanks. Alderman Blackwell voted for blanks, and Alderman McGee voted for blanks. So we got one, two. Three. Alderman Blanks has been appointed to the five to one with the next meeting of the plank with the uh, TUA. Congratulations, you have a new job. Thank you. Is there any other? There is no other new business. Mayor, I apologize, and I know that we are getting late. But I'd like to make a motion to add a quick item to the agenda to nip something in the bud. I beg your pardon? I'd like to make a motion to add an item to the agenda, which would take a two thirds majority at this point. A motion to instruct the city administrator to put together no less than one joint open session with the BOMA and Planning Commission and no less than four smaller informational sessions. And the point of that is just to nip all this concern in the bud and formalize whatever contract or agreement she was saying there so that people don't walk away. I so what we're doing you. anyway, but just codifying it. Yeah, you heard the motion to get a second. Second. To add it to the agenda takes two thirds of a vote. Can I amend that motion slightly? Change in the word informational 
to work session mate or I don't know because I think smaller work sessions and you have it written down for I me? have it written down you are so kind and that should address all the concerns we because heard I think the citizens want to work on it so the motion is to instruct the city administrator to put together no less than one joint open session with the board of mayor and aldermen and no less than four separate smaller work sessions. Regarding the Think 2040 plan is what Regarding I'm guessing. Plan, yeah. <laughs> One joint open session with. Open session meaning that allows. Town halls, it's a broad word. So an open session that within the legal limits, because there's certain things you can and cannot do as bodies. So. Joint line, session with who though? Sorry, Boma and Planning Commission. Thank you. And the citizens can comment at that or be a part of that, or is that just for us? Is a town hall that they were requesting open session? Would, so we want a study session with them, but we also want a town open hall. Open session that allows questions, and that should address all the concerns we've heard this evening. So I'd like to make a motion to amend that to reflect what he just said. A, a motion to amend. Okay. This creates a okay. Go ahead. motion to instruct the city administrator to put together no less than one joint with the board of mayor and aldermen and planning commission a joint open session allowing questions. allowing allowing citizen questions right no less than four separate smaller work sessions and so. may i make a motion to amend to also add i would like a our board only study session with walker collaborative what what we also talked about or i mean you can invite them but what i feel like we need to understand exactly what the plan is before it comes to this table for this board that's on coming for sure so I would like to add that It'll as have well. To come all the way back through the planning commission before it can come back up here. It can't. It cannot come back up here until that's done. Just good. We'll take. <coughs> we had about three amendments here on them. <laughs> then the Walker, they're they're all out of order, by the way. Collaborative group to that. The I Walker want to make sure we to walk there. out of here with these concerns and so that there is no sense that we're trying to do anything sneaky or we're trying to cut anything out and let people know that we are listening and the intent of this is to listen and to help this process and I think if what we're looking for is a contract or a board agreement then that's what this is an attempt to do so that we have it on record. So add the Walker Collaborative and, and I'll be That'll be sufficient. Can I add that to Daniels, or is we got to do a second? Yeah, I, he said he's good with it. Okay. Now is he's good with it? Is blank? So are you good with it? All three. It was Robin. BMO. I thought, I thought it was Robin that seconded. Yeah. Barry and Blanks motion to add something to yeah, the I'm agenda. Fine with it. Okay. I had Barry and Blanks, and he said good. I'm good. Okay. The motion to instruct the city administrator to put together no less than one joint with Board of Mayor and Aldermen, Planning Commission, and Walker Collaborative open session allowing citizens questions no less than four separate smaller work sessions. That's the motion. We'll do it. Well, to make sure we have to, that's to put it on the agenda. Right. And then we have to vote on it, right? Okay, to, add to, to, add to, the, to add to the agenda, vote green for yes and red for no. Seven to zero. six to zero. Seven to zero. No. Seven to zero. Now your motion. Now I will motion what she just said. We're going to instruct the city administrator to put mm -hmm. together no less than one joint meeting with Board of Mayor and Aldermen, Planning Commission, Walker Collaborative, in an open session allowing citizens questions no less than four smaller work sessions I'll second, second it got a second from Blackwell no further discussion vote green for yes uh, and red nope. for no <laughs> tell me yes. what we can vote 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 
That passes seven to zero. That's okay. There being no other new business, the Board of Mayor and Alderman will be adjourned and we'll immediately go into session for the beer board. The uh, first will go to the consent agenda. And then first off, the minutes of the July 25th meeting with the beer board. Need a motion? Second. Thanks. Yo, 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 yo. Green for approval, red for no. <laughs> Blanks made the motion and Blackwell, Blackwell, Blackwell seconded second. for the agenda item. Okay, seven to zero. Agenda, consent agenda is approved. No other unfinished business and new business. Item number 22-BB20, beer board app, a beer application for special events permit for nonprofit for Beechcraft Heritage Museum from Jody Cathy, Curtis with the manager in charge of beer sales for the annual beer beach party on October the 12th through the 15th, 2022, and consider waiving the annual, the and consider waiving the special permit fee. Move to approve. Move to approve and seconded by Blanks. With, I'd blanks like to. And with the, yep. the, the waiver. Wave. With the Second. waiver, please, <laughs> in the motion. Green for yes and red for no. Oh, I'm uh, I didn't get you to vote on that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes my little black lights don't work. All right, everyone vote. Last vote. Last vote. Last vote. <laughs> everyone voted. Oh, I think so. All right, here we go. Thank that you all. That seven to zero. There being no other new business. Beer board will be adjourned. Everyone have a good rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you just